breaking down the new Roblox Asset Manager. Hi there guys, welcome back. If you use Roblox Asset Manager lately, you may have noticed that it looks quite different, like something out of this world. Today, I'm going to break it down for you so you won't be caught off guard if you're seeing it for the first time. Not too long ago, I have made a tutorial on how to make a multi-place game. And this is how the Asset Manager looked like back then. Again, this is not too long ago. Let's take a look at a clip in that video. I'm gonna go up here and right click, select Asset Manager, Places. Now right click, Add New Place. Go up here and right click, Rename, and PC Tag Level 2. Double click on the new place. Now we can work on our new place. For example, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna add a part. Okay, so that was how we added a new place to our experience just a couple place. weeks ago. Go now let's go and see how the asset manager works on this current day, May 14th. Okay, so that was back then and this is now. Let's go to the asset manager. We're gonna go up here and right click, look for asset manager, same as we did back then. But you can see the asset manager now looks very different. I have like hundreds of items in here and each one has an asset ID and there's a bunch of options up here. So I assume if I wanna add a new place, I have to go up here and click on one of these options up here. This one is for the import. We did this in our prior tutorial on how to import an object from Blender to Roblox. This button over here is to refresh the assets so when I click it, it doesn't do anything right now because I don't have anything new to, to refresh. So that leaves us with only these two options. This one right here, I have two different options. You can either select list or grid, but it looks like it doesn't do anything. The list is still the same. So that leaves me with just one option left, which is this one, which is the filter items option. Clicking on it, you see there are a couple of different options here. So you have the asset type. You can choose an animation, audio, decal, font family, image, or mesh. So let's see what happens if I click on mesh. So it selects all the meshes. I can click on refresh here. You can see it selected all the different meshes. But still, how do I add a new place to this experience? I don't see that there. And for let's go back to the filter asset type there is no place here you can see again it's animation audio decal font family image mesh and that's it creator creator there's a bunch of creators here but nothing to add a new place source you got creator store share with me and upload it this package only archive reset filters and that's it those are all the options so how do I add a new place to this experience? What about down here? What if I go down here and right click on an item? So I have insert asset at camera, insert at position. So we've done this in our last tutorial on how to import Blender into Roblox Studio. But that, that is not to create a new place either. There is edit asset copy asset ID and view in browser. And those are all the options we have. So what did they do with adding a new place to this experience? And that is the purpose of this video today is so that I can explain to you how to add a new place to this experience with the new asset manager. So in case you're trying to do this, don't panic. You simply have to resize your asset manager here. So right over here, I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna resize the asset manager make it larger and now you can see more information and to add a place to this experience you're gonna click on places in experience and to add a place we're gonna right click over here and click on add new place i've added three new places to this experience and still we don't see them and i have figured out the reason why you remember earlier i selected only meshes and you can see this this here, this uh, icon here is blue. That means you have some selections in there. So if you click on this icon here and asset type, you can see meshes is checked. If you want, you can go and reset filters. And now we see all the new places that we have added in. 
And there you go, guys. That is the new Asset Manager Explained. Hope you have enjoyed the video and find it to be helpful. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in our next video. Take care, everyone.